the evil atrocities and the battle lost aura let's talk about it earth the center of the multiverse Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today we will take a look at tro atrocities. I saw someone on the, when I was playing the bounties the other day, who had a pretty cool, actually it was two guys who had a pretty cool atrocities look. So I tried to reproduce something that kind of looked like our friend atrocities. So we'll take a look at that, and we will take a look at the battle lost aura. I had some uh, extra source marks, so I decided to purchase the battle lost aura. I'll show you where to purchase it in just a minute. So let us consume the aura. So let us equip the aura and I will remove the accessories so that we can see the aura properly. So here we have the battle lost aura. I thought it would be appropriate to use with the, an atrocities type character. So here we are. It's an aura that we've had uh, for some time, but uh, it took me a while to get around to purchasing it. I had a whole bunch of source marks, so I said today is the day of days. Uh, there is the full version that we can purchase, uh, I'll show you where in just a minute. But there's also a modular version of that same aura. So let us start with where or where can we get the aura. Let's start with the broker. Uh, sadly, there seems to be only the full version of the aura right now. Uh, the modular versions don't seem to be there. But usually you should be able to purchase either the full version or the modular version. But I guess uh, not enough people are selling the modular version. Oh well, so sad. So the aura comes from our friend Detective McNulty. There is a version of Detective McNulty in the Metal Gotham uh, map. There's also a version of Detective McNulty in the Watchtower if you are a hero character, or in the Hall of Doom if you are an evil villain character. So here you can see the Battle Lust Aura. It costs 150 source marks. Eons ago, it would cost uh, dark metal coins or something like that. But at some point, obviously, it was all converted to source marks. So here we are. So if you have 150 source marks, you can come your friend. You can come and see your friend uh, Detective McNulty and purchase the Battle Lost Aura from him. So that pretty much covers the Battle Lost Aura. Now let's take a look at our friend Atrocities. So as I was playing the Wonderverse bounties not too long ago, I saw a couple of guys who had some pretty cool looking Atrocities uh, looking characters. One of them was using uh, the, the Constructing Eels uh, accessory to create some pretty cool looking uh, red constructs that flows around our friend Atrocities. Pretty sure in the long run, eventually, one day many years from now, we will get some uh, actual accessories uh, that could be cool for a Red Lantern character. But uh, I have to admit those Eels uh, did a pretty good job so far. So let's take a look at what do we need to recreate our friend Atrocities. Obviously, in this case, I'm using the first Chroma 1, the first Chroma 2, but I'm also, I'm also using only the first Chroma as opposed to first Chroma 3 in order to be able to get like the boots and the gloves uh, completely red. And I think the same for the headpiece. So for the headpiece, I'm using the Protege of the Inversions. For the face, obviously, the Avenging Angel. For the shoulders, the Riot Shoulders. The back piece, obviously, the Vestments of Rage to be able to get a nice Red Lantern emblem. I could not apply material on the uh, the back piece. If I do, I lose the emblem, which is pretty much counterproductive. The chest piece, I went simple. I went with the slimline chest piece, but I will show you an alternative in just a minute. There's probably a handful of chest pieces you could use, but I, I thought uh, the slimline worked well enough. For the belt, I went with the combat protocol belt. There might be a belt or two that could have been used, but I thought this one uh, worked well enough. For the pants, any uh, slimline pants that's just one color would do the trick. Uh, usually I, I go by, by default, I usually use the reverse slimline. For the gloves and the boots, I'm using the Vestments of Rage. Uh, technically, that's the official Red Lantern set of gear. So I thought it was appropriate with our friend Atrocities. Uh, the reason why I'm not using the, uh, the Red Lantern chest piece, quite simply, is that uh, if I apply the material to that chest piece, uh, we will lose the emblem. Actually, uh, well, I may as well show it. So certainly if I do use the Vestment of Rage chest piece, as you can see, the emblem gets covered by the material. And also the, the material is uh, black, red, and white. And uh, sadly, it is a little too much white for my taste, so I kind of prefer uh, to use just the slimline chest piece. Of course, if you use the slimline chest piece, we, you will have to use a Red Lantern emblem. 
Here I'm using the enhanced version of the Red Lantern emblem. As I mentioned, the constricting eels accessory uh, works well enough to create some sort of construct around our front atrocities. I guess the red kryptonite shards would be another option. Uh, you decide. And for the aura, I was using the Furious Aura, the official Red Lantern Aura. But there's a handful of auras you could use. There's a whole bunch of red aura that could be used to recreate an Atrocitus type character. But some of them, like the Red Filament Aura, you can only get it from the broker and they will be pretty expensive. So you have the Red Kryptonite Aura. The Red Plasmic Aura. I guess you could go with the Red Umbral Aura, but it, it's a little too dark. It doesn't look like blood anymore. There's a Crimson Misted Aura that you could also use. And obviously, the Battle Lost Aura would work well enough as well. Again, I would normally go with the, the full version. Uh, the modular version sadly doesn't cover everything. I made an alternative version if you wanted to use uh, something other than the the slimline chest piece. Basically here I'm using the angled flex suit, but in order to be able to do that, I had to use the red vinyl neon chroma 2 for the chest piece and the pants. And the reason for that is quite simple, as you can see, if I use the furious chroma 2, I end up with a bunch of, of uh, white lines that I don't really want to have. So I needed a chest piece that only supports two colors, just so I wouldn't have the white lines on the chest piece. But although if you don't mind the white lines, there's quite a handful of other uh, chest pieces you could use if you want to. So depending on which material you have, uh, you may decide to create one or the other version of the character. Oh, and one last thing before I forget, in order to be able to achieve the look for the face, I am using the glowing skin. I'm sure some of you guys will have suggestions on how to improve our friend Atrocitus or maybe different styles we can use to recreate Atrocitus. Uh, just mention it in the comment, comment section down below for everyone else to be able to see it. And uh, who knows, maybe later down the line I'll make a follow-up video with uh, the suggestions that you guys will give. I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. So this pretty much covers our friend Atrocitus and the Battle Lost Aura, at least for now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos, odds are I already made a video that answered your question. And that's going to be pretty much it for now guys, so as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.